everyone, it's Craig Brett here and I'm going to be playing a retro game of mine, Future Cop LAPD, one of my all-time old favourites from the PlayStation 1, or PlayStation as normal people call it back then. Not much of a preamble to this other than I'm going to be playing the Precinct Assault mode, but yeah, let's get to it. This is Precinct Assault. You begin inside your base. You know where the action button is, right? You'll need it. Each base has a hover tank generator. Action button. Hover tanks will seek out the enemy base. When one of your hover tanks enters the enemy base, you win. Sound simple? I don't think so! You can generate jet choppers to protect your base from the air. These base turrets are your last line of defense. Any neutral turrets are up for grabs. Use the action button to claim them. This is an outpost. Claim it, and you've got another base. But outposts cost points. Earn points by claiming turrets and destroying enemy units. Destroy the enemy walker, earn points, and send him back to his base crying like a baby. Remember, hover tanks, turrets, points, crying. Beautiful. Now, if you're playing by yourself, you'll go up against Sky Captain, a lethal combination of smarts and firepower. This cybernetic genius can do everything you can do and more. He's got his own reloaders and can link with his base to generate units remotely. And every time you beat Sky Captain, he gets a little tougher. Oh, about the radar. The red arrow points to the red base, the blue one towards the blue base. Whoopee. So, get one of your hover tanks into the enemy base before the other guy gets to yours. Good luck. Done. So, this is Precinct Assault. It's uh, essentially what I call an early MOBA. Um, brave or otherwise. And uh, you're essentially... Use, you're assisting your AI controlled friends to take over the enemy base uh, before they do it to yours. That's, that's not acceptable. Of course, it's, uh, it gets hard. It's it's certainly interesting from a historical perspective, but I'm not playing this because this is a big part of my childhood. I loved this mode. I really loved it. So much so that I genuinely remember the password to unlock everything. All these years later, I have not googled this, I promise. It is... Dikey Faz... Everything unlocked. Beautiful. This means, of course, we could technically go fighting Sky Captain at its highest difficulty, but I don't think I'm ready for it. I haven't played this in many years, um, but I want to play it now. And I wanted to stream the experience as well. So. <sighs> Starting at level 1 a bit too early. I'm going to start at level 1. Make sure I really know what I'm doing. Right, here we pick our weapons. Grenade launch. Right, let's not start with special weapons first, let's start with the basic weapons. Or the gun weapon, as it calls it. Right shield, no. Electric gun. I still feel like the powered minigun is one of the better gun weapons in this game. All the gun weapons are weak as. But, useful to have. The Hellfire Missile, alright, so let's go on to the heavy weapons. Hellfire Missiles are rubbish. I mean, I wouldn't say that in real life, but... Concussion Beam is very good. I like the Concussion Beam. Uh, Hyper Velocity Rockets, they're okay. They're nothing special though, they're, they're very similar to the Hellfire, if I remember right. Uh, canine Robo Dog. I love the Canine, canine Robo Doggy. It is essentially a robotic dog that chews up your enemies, fired out of a cannon. Ah, <sighs> concussion beam more canines. Let's think about our main special weapon for now. So special weapons, this is the most powerful one. Yeah, it takes up most things. So, mortar launch are very good. A good staple. The bounce mines are okay, 
but they are mines, uh, and they get you. But of course, if you run up to a turret or something, drop a mine and run away, that turret's gone. Um, but of course, you can better go. Shock Regenerator, now that basically just blasts out a massive sort of wave, as you'd imagine, which gets friendlies or, or enemies. Um, the only one of these special weapons that doesn't really is the mortar. But then they're slow. So shockwave generator, if you just charge up to an enemy base, you can just sort of wipe out their choppers and turrets and all sorts. But you've got a danger of getting your own tanks. So we're not gonna go with the shockwave generator. Grenade launcher has a similar issue, but it's better. It's like a mortar but quicker, but it has got big splash of damage, which is good and bad. I feel like I'm going to go for the mortar launcher, therefore I'm not going to go for the concussion beam. I'm going to go with the canine robo doggies. Because, hey, why not? Just going to... Alright, we're good to go. Let's go meet Sky Captain. Alright, turn into the quick version of myself for a minute. So, as X1 Alpha, the, uh, the hero, if you like, of this MOBA, you can transform between a walking, plodding robot and this quite nippy little, uh, nippy little fellow. Right, I've, uh, generated some jet, jet choppers and some tanks, so... Uh, mine. Oh, mine. Sky Cat is getting confident. Yes. Right, let's claim these turrets. Come out, come out, wherever you are. Meet my doubles. Again. That turret is gone. I'll take this one too. Bye bye. You're making this too easy. Let's go up the lift. Right, there's some goodies up here. I'm not gonna fuck those. Death from above. Sky Captain. Meet Sky Captain. Bye, Sky Captain. Right, I'm I live again. I'm grabbing the power-ups when I'm at it. Right, so this means all the turrets over here are going to be mine, and they're all going to fire at the blue team, which is the bad guys. my base. I'm going to pop back to base for a minute. I'm going to... I'm controlling the power tank. I don't know what it's called. Car? Another car? No! Sky Captain just got killed by possibly my turrets, which means spending that time... I live yeah. again! Look out the map. Fine. I get it. I get it. What's the way of jumping even higher? I just don't what it is. Let's, uh, let's build some more things. Ooh, I have a lot of points. About 48 points left. Let's generate a whole ton of other tanks to harass the enemy. You're making this too easy. Uh, that's all we can do about that, Capo. Wait! Beep beep. I'm trying to get out of the door. Earth! Let's 
introduce you to my doggies. <laughs> uh, anyway. I live again. Defend your master. Sky Captain. Claim that turret. That turret as well. Uh oh, Sky Captain. I'll see you bye bye. in hell. No, you won't. I live again. side, but I'm not 100% sure. I'm just checking where I am on the map. Uh, I haven't played this in quite some time. Uh, no, that's the... I think the south side is the blue side. But I'm not 100% sure. Uh, there are certainly blue units there. I think. Ah. Well, I'm not really sure. But I'm not going to claim this outpost yet until I'm sure. Enemy within two base perimeter. Yes, this is definitely on side. Blue base is under attack. Yes. Enemy within two base perimeter. Outpost one taken by red team. <laughs> well, Sky Captain, yes. kind of funny. Always here for a laugh, Sky Captain. Right, let's see. Let's build a dreadnought. This should finish the game up. Dreadnoughts are super powerful tanks. Red, red, As you'd guess by the 50 point price cost. Uh, yeah, so let's uh, see if Outpost we can. Outpost 2 taken by Blue King. Mm. Sky Captain is unstoppable. Let's put that to the test. I think I'm just no! <laughs> I think I just stopped Sky Captain. <laughs> 
I live again. How did you miss? Oh, it's in front of him. death after six minutes so most of the game without even dying. First outpost over five minutes. I'm looking at some just basic stats. Alright so we flip between a walker and a hovercraft. Yeah cool. Uh, Sky Captain we killed within 40 seconds the first time. Oh, poor Sky. Uh, we got almost twice the amount of points that the other team got. That was pretty good. We wound up on 50 points, so we could have built another Dreadnought if their last one got destroyed. Uh, we only died twice. We killed twice. The Sky Captain died 13 times, but never killed me. Something tells me this next round might not be so easy. But... Yeah. Okay guys, in an attempt not to overwhelm YouTube with a massive long video of all of my session against Sky Captain, I'm going to cut this one here and call this an intro. So thank you for watching, and I hope you come back to see the rest of my battles against Sky Captain. It only gets tougher from here. Thank you guys. Take care.